All right, we just made it to the spring. It's cold and rainy. This is my friend Bill. He's also known water photographer and is working on a project of documenting gar spawning in a Florida spring run. We're hoping to see them amassing in large numbers in the spring today. They might be up to some activity, maybe not, we'll see. I don't know where Bill is looking. <laughs> um, but we're getting sued up and we're gonna go look for some gar. So we actually have to walk a long way to the water. We forgot to bring extra water, so we have to get some water in our wetsuits and the only thing around us are puddles. Right off the bat, we weren't seeing many gar. There were one or two here or there, like this one hiding in the eelgrass. We weren't seeing them in the large numbers we were hoping for, at least yet. However, we saw a lot of really cool plants and wildlife as we drifted down the river. Here are a few of the shots I took along the way. About halfway down the river, I noticed something sticking out of the eelgrass. It turned out to be a really nice mask in great condition. I looked it up later and it was worth about $70 brand new, so a good way to get some new gear and also clean up the river. I also spotted this hog choker fish hiding in the sand. These fish are a type of sole and basically look like tiny flounder. They have a pretty amazing life history and will actually travel all the way from the springs to salt water. Finally, as we neared the end of our dive, we started to see the gar in greater numbers. There wasn't any breeding activity going on, but we could tell that they were congregating in preparation. Alrighty, so we did find the gar, but unfortunately not doing the activity we were hoping for, so we'll be back.